Sunnybrook 279 rear bathroom here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and this is an ideal couples camper that is in very nice shape. Sunnybrook has always uh, been known for making a very high-end piece. Unfortunately, the Sunnybrook that built this trailer is no longer around. The name has been purchased and is being reused today. But this is true actual Sunnybrook. The Sunset Creek is a very respectable product. Keep in mind, we have never been a dealer of this product new, and I have a great deal of respect for what we're looking at here. Um, the uh, looks like previous owners had added the power tongue jack up here, which is really nice. You don't got to worry about a lot of cranking. But, uh, you know, you're going to see things like the extended downspouts up here. Uh, you know, they were doing this years ahead of the curve. You see that quite a bit today, but not when this was built. Um, similar, we have extremely large um, baggage doors here. This means you can actually put big chairs and grills and all that stuff in here. You don't have to skimp down on what you're taking with you. And that is a very generous path through space. And, uh, you know, you can see where, if you look... There's little scuffs where things they had loaded, scuffed in here, but this is built out of real wood. It's not particle board, it's not OSB. This is going to hold up. This trailer was built to last, and that is a fact. And the, the superior craftsmanship and materials they're using are why this thing is just in dynamite shape today. The fact that it was owned by some decent people that took care of it certainly doesn't help either. Big things to point out. These are indicators of the type of product you're looking at. They didn't just put the big baggage door on the door side to fool you. They put big baggage doors on both sides because it's a superior way of doing it. It gives you more function and fashion or use out of this trailer. It's not just fashion, it's also function. Um, you know, little stuff like this. They have little uh, jealousy windows here on your uh, slide outs. Now, the, the, the big advantage here is that these windows can tilt open. That means you can use these windows for ventilation in the rain. That window costs a dollar more. It's a superior product, and that's the kind of stuff that you find here. Um, nothing too fancy or exciting to talk about on the back side here. Uh, you know, it does have a spare tire with a cover that's never touched the ground as far as I can see. They have um, like uh, alloy wheels, which are nice. You know, they're not going to rust like steel wheels, but they don't incur the cost of an aluminum wheel. Um, over here on the camping side, there is an outside shower right there. Uh, that's very handy for like washing down grandkids or something if they come over to join you. Also, take a look at the awning on here. This is probably pretty close to a 20 foot awning. Very good size awning. It leaves room for a picnic table and maybe a, you know, a lounge chair out here. Uh, all under the awning at the same time. You don't really have to decide one or the other. The uh, larger entry handle here, again, another indicator of a good product. Uh, that, you know, it's something that's a little more upscale. And when this trailer was built, those were not usually found on travel trailers, and that was installed that way from the factory. That's not something that was added later. Oops, the camera got a little dark on us there. There we go. So right when we walk in, nice, big, wide open super slide. Um, you know, very classic rank and file floor plan, but executed very, very well. Uh, let's take a look at a few things here. We do have a full hide-to-bed sofa over there. So again, if the grandkids come over, they do have a place to sleep. Although uh, sofas can, or pardon me, dinettes can always fold down into a sleeping space as required. Look at the size of the windows in this slide out. They are extremely, extremely large. And even the windows on the sides of the slide are very big. That's gonna let in a lot of extra light. Um, you know, I have the shades drawn. It's still very comfortable in here. Nice little touches like a power outlet under the table. It's perfect spot. That's right where you're gonna need something to charge your phone or you know a laptop or anything like that. It's ideal. Big, big entertainment center. Now this was this trailer was built before flat screens were really common, um, before the pricing really got in line on them. So it's a big traditional entertainment center, very deep. What's cool about that is it, uh, a lot of these newer entertainment centers are so small, you can't put stuff like a DVD player in there. They left you a big shelf for extra electronics down here, a big space and enclosure for a big TV, and because this is so much deeper, it means it has bigger storage in here. Now again, better craftsmanship. Notice this thing doesn't twist. You know, when I when I do that to it, if uh, this is not just like staple cabinetry. Staple cabinetry, you can twist those styles. That's one of those things I've learned to look for after a lot of years of experience. Also. This is slightly longer than a lot of rear bathrooms. That translates into more kitchen counter space, more cabinets, more storage. You have tons 
of cabinet space through here all over the place. And notice this isn't just the illusion of cabinetry. These are very big, deep, wide cabinets. Very cool. Um, actually, this is nice. A little master power cutoff switch. Pretty cool. That means that, uh, you know, all of, if you do put modernized electronics in here, like even things like your refrigerator panel can trickle sap a battery. That won't happen in this camper. We do have centralized air conditioning running through the ceiling. We do have centralized heat running through the floor. So all the way up from the private front bedroom to the private rear bath, you get equal comfortable heating and cooling. Now, again, storage in this thing is awesome. Right here in the kitchen, we have this big pantry, floor to ceiling pantry. Um, that is some serious storage space. And that's something that a lot of newer trailers, I hear people all the time say, man, these newer trailers don't have the storage of my old one. You're right, they don't. And this is a good example of the, an exception to that rule. I like the little decorative, um, you know, uh, sticker the folks put on here, that floral sticker is very sharp on that shower. They did a good job picking that up. But again, this has a fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub. When this camper was built, that was virtually unheard of. And really, there aren't even a lot of campers today that have that kind of feature. Now, this bathroom has tons of storage. Let me show you what I mean here. So that is just an ungodly amount of linen storage for a travel trailer. You just don't get this level of linen storage really in a fifth wheel or travel trailer. Now, on top of that, you have this huge double door massive closet and look at this thing from floor to ceiling you generally don't find closets like this until you're in a permanent living fifth wheel this thing is absolutely awesome it gives you a spot to actually put like a vacuum or a broom or something like that you know you just don't get storage like this in a travel trailer most of the time and you still maintain a nice bathroom facility here we actually have a nice medicine cabinet so you can keep all your junk off the bathroom uh, counter here and you actually have a good size sink you can really wash your hands and this kind of stuff is hard to find in a travel trailer moving forward again that big slide out where that's going to be awesome is when it rains you're gonna love having that big slide also the twin sliding double doors right here for the the front bedroom it makes the bedroom private but accessible and it keeps your floor plan open and feeling larger again when you're stuck inside all day on a rainy day you're gonna like having this now uh, I've been all through this camper I cannot find any significant defects I can't find anywhere where it's leaked I can't find any appliances that are not functioning well this is a very nice piece. This is a very nice piece. Um, you know, we've got big bedside stands here with power outlets, by the way. I do want to point that out. There are power outlets here. So you folks with CPAP machines, or even if you just want to charge your phone at night, perfect spot to do it. And the windows in this bedroom, just like the living room, they're huge. They can open for some awesome ventilation, and that goes right with the vent in the ceiling. You can get some very good ventilation up there. You know, they shoved the overhead cabinets back just a little bit so that you're not going to smack your head on them. This is so well planned and executed. It's absolutely fantastic. And it's in great shape. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Have some fun.